Hi, and welcome to my conversation um, about chemistry. In this segment, what we're going to be looking at are uh, a broad class or a broad category of chemical reactions that involve the transfer of electrons. Uh, later on in this series, I'll be talking about um, five main classes of chemical reactions. And it's very important to be able to recognize whether or not these classes are oxidation reduction reactions or redox reactions. Now, uh, there's some of these get very, very complicated, and those will be discussed when I, at least from my videos, when I do electrochemistry. Right now, I want to evaluate them at a very simple level and predict whether or not a reaction is a redox reaction. Very important aspect of and fun aspect of chemistry. So we're going to call these redox for short. Okay, what is oxidation and reduction? Well, let's take a look at this reaction here. All pure elements all by themselves are zero, right? Um, in and by binary ionic, um, we've got our anion is negative one. Since there's two chlorines, I need a plus two charge on the copper to balance out those two chloride ions. On the product side, copper is zero. Zinc in a compound is always plus two, and the chlorine's negative one. So the first step is, uh, when we're doing these or evaluating these, is to uh, evaluate their oxidation numbers, okay? Now the zinc went from zero to plus two. It changed oxidation numbers. And I like to think of it since electrons are negative, I like to say the zinc became less negative due to a loss of electrons in a process called oxidation. Okay, A way we're going to memorize this is oil rig. Oxidation is loss of electrons. Now the copper ion, if you look at this, copper plus two became copper zero. It gained electrons. The copper became more negative in this process due to the gain of electrons in a process called reduction. So oxidation is loss, reduction is gain of electrons. Now, just as a reminder, elements by themselves always have an oxidation number of zeros, not in a compound. So a quick way you can evaluate this if you're not asked um, for the specific oxidation number is look for elements by themselves and then going into a compound. So the zinc here is zero and in a compound it's not zero. So yes, either oxidation or reduction occurred. Here, the copper, it's in a compound, so it's not zero, and it went in, it became pure copper, and it's zero. So sometimes you can look at elements going in and out of compounds, and that can give you just a rough idea whether or not it's a redox reaction. Okay, now for upper levels, it, you're going to often have to write a balanced, what we call half reaction. You can't have oxidation without reduction. Okay, if something's going to gain electrons, another substance has to lose electrons. So the full half reaction for this zinc would have been zinc, that zero would be implied. You wouldn't typically write that, but I want to do that to make a point. I'd have zinc two plus plus two electrons. And you notice the charge on both sides is the same. Zero on the left hand side, plus two minus two is also zero. The copper gained electrons. So you notice that when it's a loss, the electrons are a product in a half reaction. And when it's a gain, the electrons are a reactant. Okay, and we still have charge balance on both sides. Okay, so that's really a basic foundation 
of redox reactions just to get us started. Um, it just helps us understand a little bit more at the molecular level what is happening. Often these redox reactions happen a little slower uh, than other reactions and so um, this might pop up in a discussion of kinetics as well. All right, thanks for joining me. Appreciate your time. Good luck with chemistry.